If there is peace in your mind, you will find peace with everybody. If your mind is agitated, you will find agitation everywhere. So first find peace within and you will see this inner peace reflected everywhere else. You are this peace. It is all your desires that you see when you think. But when your mind is quiet, without desire, you are complete and as wonderful as you have always been. You have to simply become aware of the movement of the mind, which begins its endless trouble. If you see the illusion, you are enlightened. But if you think that you are enlightened, you are in the illusion. The one who follows the thought is also a thought. The one who follows the thought is in thought. When you know that both are thoughts, you are home. You are not at home. You are home. Then thoughts just arise. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever stays, let it stay. What goes, let it go. You remain as that unmoved and unconcerned being. This is the highest understanding. That ocean of eternal peace is you. Your nature is to keep quiet.
you came from silence and you have to return to silence. The reason we suffer is that we seek peace elsewhere. And do not experience that we are peace incarnate itself. So stop. Stop everything. Then you will realize that you are the freedom you have been searching for. When the mind is quiet, all is self. When the mind moves, the world arises. So be still. Throw away everything and be free. Reality is everywhere. And to find it, you must first disappear. All that you are attached to, all that you love, all that you know, someday will be gone. Knowing this, and that the world is your mind, which you create, play in, and suffer from, is known as discrimination. Discriminate between the real and the unreal. The known is unreal and will come and go.
So stay with the unknown, the unchanging, the truth. Actually, the only truth is to keep quiet and see what happens from there. When I feel ill-tempered, when I feel sad, when I feel distant, it's just something that is happening. When I don't compare it to the past and project it into the future, then it's just something that is happening now. It's a way of dying now. Anything that you have imposed on yourself to be unhappy, to be bound, is a concept. It is an imaginary concept. So give it away. Stay quiet and the noisy surface dialogues will cease. Then the substratum will rise up to the top. It is simple. Follow this. So who is journeying for freedom? The one who is already free. Thoughts are the impediments to seeing your own face. Don't give rise to any thought and discover 
who you are. You are peace, that which remains untouched. You are the one which is aware of the awareness of objects and ideas You are the one that is even more silent than awareness. You are the life which precedes the concept of life. Your nature is silence. And it is not attainable, it always is. You are emptiness, the ultimate substance. Removing emptiness out of emptiness leaves only emptiness because there is nothing beyond it. Emptiness is between is and is not. And nothing is out of this emptiness. So it is the fullness.
to be free, you need the firm conviction that you are this substratum, this peace, this emptiness. The death of desire happens in satsang. But this is the death of the mind only. So do not fear. Persist, persevere, stay present and let your mind die. Stay present and overcome this death. Don't give your mind any more company. Don't be a coward. Invite death to come. and you will be eternal. You have only two choices. Allow your mind to live or let your true self live. This is your decision. All pain belongs to objectification. So don't let the ego own freedom. Do not objectify the truth. Do not call it a gain or an acquisition. Simply identify with it as you do when you see your face in the mirror. Forget this visitor called mind 
and just identify as that. Why objectify God? Subjectify that. Go straight to the light. Immediately jump into it. And don't write an article about it on the way. Keep quiet. Entertain no doubt. Raise no desire. Remove all objects and remain as that. <laughs> 